Welcome back. So we are discussing the problems on projection of planes. Okay, the next problem. A triangular lamina of side 25 mm resting on HP with one of its corner such that the surface of the lamina makes an angle 60 degree with HP and this side opposite to the corner and this side opposite to the corner on which it rests so makes an angle 30 degree with VP. So draw the front view and top view in this position. Okay. First write down the given data. Okay, here the given lamina, the given lamina is equilateral triangular lamina of side 25 mm. Right? Next, the lamina resting on HPR VP, the lamina resting on horizontal plane. Okay. Here the lamina resting on horizontal plane, edge or corner, corner resting towards your left side, corner should come. Okay, here the lamina resting on HP on one of its corner. Next, so the lamina makes 60 degree with HP. Now, okay, here the lamina makes 60 degree with HP. Right, I have only one inclination. Now, at the same time, this is the corner, the side opposite to the corner. Okay, here this is the side opposite to the resting corner this side, this side inclined 30 degree with respect to VP, this side inclined 30 degree with respect to VP, okay, here the corner towards your left side is considered as resting corner, the side, this is the side opposite to the corner, this side makes an angle 30 degree with respect to VP and at the same time, lamina, so same time, lamina inclined 60 degree with respect to HP. So now in this position, I need to write the top view and front view. So the procedure, First, you should place the lamina completely on HP. First, you should place the lamina completely on HP. Okay, now draw the front view and top view. Okay, here in the top view, I will going to see the true shape. Start the first position always with the true shape. Therefore, start the first position with the true shape. Next, rotate the lamina or tilt the lamina such that the lamina makes an angle of 60 degree with HP. Next tilt the lamina such that the side opposite to the corner, resting corner makes an angle 30 degree with respect to VP. Now procedure is like this as usual. So first draw XY line. So draw XY line and indicate VP HP. Draw XY line and indicate VP HP since it is first triangle projection. Now construct an equilateral triangular lamina. Start the first position with the top view because in the top view I will going to see the true shape. Right. Now construct an equilateral triangle such that the corner should come towards our left side means the resting corner. So draw. 25 mm line, draw 25 mm line, next using compass cut two arcs, okay here draw 25 mm line, next using compass okay here cut an arc and here from cut an arc so we will get So equilateral triangle. Now make it dark. Since this, so this is the view. So make it dark and do the naming A, B, C. Indicate the dimension. Indicate the dimension. Right. Next, so draw upward projections to get the front view, draw upward projections, so draw upward projections. Now, so this is the front view, okay here in the front view, this is the direction of view, A visible, B visible and C invisible. So I have completed the first position top view and front view. Next to write the second position. 
to write the second position, I need laminar inclination with respect to HP. So HP inclinations are visible in the front view. So front view is written on the VP plane. This is VP plane. Therefore, write the front view. That is 60 degree inclination. So now take 60 degree line at any point on XY line, draw 60 degree line with, res with respect to HP. Now using compass, using compass measure this length and cut an arc to get point B dash and C dash and here A dash. Now make it dark since this is the view. Next to get the second position top view, draw vertical downward projections. Draw vertical downward projections. Next, draw horizontal projections. So draw horizontal projections. So you can indicate the arrow marks. Right, next, do the naming. So horizontal projection of point A, vertical projection of point A, A. Horizontal projection of point B, vertical projection of point B, B. Horizontal projection of point C, vertical projection of point C, C. Now connect the three corners. Okay, I have completed the second position, top view. Okay, next, to draw the last position, I need VP inclination. Okay, here, this is this side opposite to the resting corner. Corner is the resting corner. This is this side opposite to the resting corner. This side inclined 30 degree with respect to VP. So, the VP inclinations are visible in the top view. So, top view is written on HP plane. This is HP zone or HP plane. HP horizontal plane. Okay, here I am going to write the top view. Now, the side opposite the resting corner makes an angle 60 degree, sorry, 30 degree with respect to VP. So, to write the last position, draw 30 degree line. So, draw 30 degree line with respect to VP. Next, redraw the lamina by placing the resting edge by placing the resting edge that is redraw this lamina by placing the side opposite to the resting corner make it dark next measure the distance from C to E cut an arc measure the distance from B to A cut an arc this is E now join three corners. So this is point C, this is point A and this is point B. Next draw vertical upward projections. Draw vertical upward projections. and draw horizontal projections. Now do the naming. This is the vertical projection of point A and this is the horizontal projection of point A. This is A dash. This is vertical projection of point B and this is the horizontal projection of point B, B dash. This is the vertical projection of point C and this is the horizontal projection of point C, C dash. Now connect all the three corners to get the final view. So this is the final view of triangular lamina when the lamina makes 60 degree with respect to HP and the side opposite to the resting corner makes an angle 30 degree with respect to VP.
so the next problem an equilateral triangular lamina of 25 mm side lies on one of its side on hp the lamina makes 45 degree with hp and the median is inclined at 40 degree to vp draw the projections of the lamina <coughs> so this is the problem okay okay here so this is the median inclination problem okay first list out the data so the given lamina is triangle of side 25 mm the lamina rests on hp the lamina rests on hp on one of its side so this data is used for drawing the first position okay here so assume this assume this square lamina as horizontal plane so given lamina is triangle the triangle lamina rests on hp on one of its side so the side towards our left side is the resting side okay here the lamina rest on hp and one of its side right now draw the top view and front view in the top view i can able to see the true shape in the top view i can able to see the true shape and in the front view the lamina looks like a straight line now so draw 25 mm dimension line draw 25 mm dimension line 2.5 cm next using compass measure this distance and cut an arc here also cut an arc then connect connect then indicate the dimension so it is 25 mm draw arrow mark 25 do the naming a b c since it is median inclination problem you should indicate the median using thin line draw median so draw median okay here it is indicated b1 so b1 is the median now to get the front view draw upward projections draw upward projections using thin lines draw projection lines and in the front view the lamina looks like a straight line and draw the front view so this is the top view make it dark now in the front view a visible c invisible and b visible so i have completed the first position top view and front view so to write the first position top view and front view okay here i need just this data so the lamina given lamina is triangle of 25 mm side the lamina is on hp with one of its side so therefore construct a triangular lamina by placing the resting side towards your left side next the lamina inclination is 45 degree to draw the second position i need this one lamina inclination with respect to hp that is 45 degree the lamina inclination is visible in the front view or top view this is the lamina so this is the horizontal inclination so the lamina inclination with respect to hp the the, the the hp inclination is visible in the front view so front view is written on vp front is written on vp now to draw the front view to draw the front view draw 45 degree line draw 45 degree line this is theta with respect to hp right next next measure this length measure this length cut an arc to get the second position front view this is b dash and this is a dash and c dash now to get the second position top view 
ड्रॉ वर्टिकल डाउनवर्ड प्रोजेक्शंस ड्रॉ वर्टिकल डाउनवर्ड प्रोजेक्शंस एंड ड्रॉ हॉरिजेंटल प्रोजेक्शंस ड्रॉ हॉरिजेंटल प्रोजेक्शंस सो ड्रॉ हॉरिजेंटल प्रोजेक्शंस एंड वर्टिकल डाउनवर्ड प्रोजेक्शंस वी कैन इंडिकेट दी आरोस right next do the naming a b and c next connect all the points i have got the second position top view and this is the median okay here i have indicated the median in b1 okay here i have indicated the median B two. Now, in the last position, okay, here I need to use this data. The median incline forty degree with respect to VP. Okay, observe this first position, front view and top view. This is the median. So when the lamina, so this is the median. This is the median when the lamina completely rests on HP. Okay, here I can see the true shape of the triangle, along with I can see the true length of median. So this is the true length of median. Okay, therefore this is the true length of median. B one is the true length of median. Next, when you provide a inclination, when you provide forty five degree inclination with respect to horizontal plane, and when you observe lamina. From top of the object, the length of the median get changed. Okay, here observe the length here. This is the median length when the lamina rests on HP. This is the median length when the lamina incline to HP. When the lamina incline to HP, the length of the median get changed, and this length is called as apparent length, and it is indicated in AL, and this length is called as apparent length. now i need to find out the apparent inclination for this length i need to find out the apparent inclination for this length okay here i know the true length and then i know this inclination this is called as true inclination that is 40 degree and i know the apparent length but i don't know the apparent inclination and that inclination is called as beta angle when the median inclined to vp when median diagonal perpendicular bisector inclined to vp then we need to find out beta angle when the median inclined to hp then we need to find out alpha angle so to find out the beta angle so process is like this so first draw an horizontal line first draw an horizontal line next draw 40 degree line with respect to vp draw 40 degree line draw 40 degree line with respect to vp angle 5 First, just draw horizontal line. Next, draw 40 degree line at any length. Next, measure the true length in the first position top view. Measure the true length that is B1 length in the first position top view. From this point, from this point, cut an arc. This is point B and this is point one. Right? Measure this length B to one, B to one in the first position top view. That is true length. so from point p cut an arc and this is the true length and this is the true length now through this point through this point draw horizontal line through this point draw horizontal line so through this point draw horizontal line next measure the apparent length from b to 2 measure the apparent length from b to 2 and here from point b cut an arc to get point 2 right measure this length b to 2 next from point p cut an arc to get point 2 now connect b to 2 connect b to 2 now 
this angle is called as this angle is called as beta angle if you measure using protractor which will be equal to 65 degree which will be equal to 65 degree so now i have got the apparent inclination for this apparent length right now so draw apparent inclination that is beta angle beta which is equal to 65 degree draw beta angle line now redraw this redraw this lamina such that the median the apparent length of median inclined 65 degree with respect to vp you should redraw the lamina by placing the median on the beta angle line like this you should not place the lamina like this if you place the lamina like this it will become edge inclination in the problem he has given the median inclination therefore you are supposed to place the median you are supposed to place the median on the beta angle line right now how to redraw the diagram first measure the distance b to 2 at any point on beta angle line mark this is b to 2 next measure the distance from b to c from b to c cut an arc and measure the distance from b to a measure the distance from b to a cut an arc right then measure the distance from 2 to c 2 to c then measure the distance from 2 to a here we'll get point a and point c now connect all the three points so this is the apparent length now draw vertical upward projections to get the final front view draw vertical upward projections okay here all projections here draw horizontal projections now do the naming this is the vertical projection of point a this is the horizontal projection of point a this is a dash vertical projection of point b horizontal projection of point b b dash vertical projection of point c horizontal projection of point c c dash now connect all the three points so this is the final front view and top view when the lamina inclined 45 degree with with respect to hp and when the median inclined 40 degree to vp so this problem is called as beta angle problem when the median inclined to vp then we need to find out beta angle suppose in the problem if they mentioned appears to be inclined so in the suppose in the problem if you have the word appears then you no need to find out beta angle just you directly tilt the lamina to the apparent inclination so this is the solution of the given problem So the next problem: a square lamina ABCD of 40 mm side rests on corner A such that the diagonal AC appears to be inclined at 45 degree to VP. The surface of the lamina makes 30 degree with respect to HP. Draw the projections of the lamina. 
Now, so the given lamina is square lamina. Okay, here square lamina of A, B, C, D. So you can indicate four corners A, B, C, and D. So square lamina of A, B, C, D rest on corner A. Rest on corner A. But he did not mention the plane. On which plane the lamina rest? Okay, here when the lamina inclination is given, suppose if the lamina inclined with HP, then the lamina rest on HP. If the lamina inclined to VP, then the lamina rest on VP. Remember this point. When the lamina inclination is given with respect to HP, then it means that the lamina rest on HP. When the lamina inclined to VP, then it means that the lamina rest on VP. Now in the problem, lamina inclination with HP is given, therefore the lamina rest on HP. So first write the given lamina is square of 40 mm side length, of 40 mm side length. Lamina rest on HP on corner A, but this data is not given, lamina rest on HP is not given. Just he has mentioned that the lamina rest on one of its corner A. But based on this data, we can decide the resting condition of the lamina. Okay, here the lamina rest on corner A on HP. So this data is used for drawing the first position. When the lamina rest on HP, to draw the second position, we need HP inclination. Next, when the lamina rest on HP, to draw the third position, we need VP inclination. Okay, here the diagonal appears to be inclined with respect to VP is 45 degree. When the problem contains the word appears, then you no need to find out any apparent inclinations. Now let us discuss. Now draw the first position of square lamina. Okay, here the square lamina rest on HP on one of its corner A. Now, therefore, construct a square lamina in the corner condition. Suppose if you construct square lamina like this, it will become edge condition. So, therefore, you should construct the lamina such that one of the corner, that means corner A, it should come towards your left side. How to construct this lamina? Okay, here, first draw horizontal line. Draw horizontal line. Next, at any point on the horizontal line, take 45 degree lines. Here also take 45 degree lines. This is 45 degree. Here also 45 degree at any length. Draw 45 degree lines. Next, using compost, take 40 mm length. Take 40 mm length using compost. So take 40 mm length and cut cut an arc. Okay, here also cut an arc at a length of 40 mm. Next, again at a length of 40 mm, cut two arcs. Now join. So, you will get square lamina of 40 mm dimension. I have constructed a square lamina. So, lamina rest on HP and corner A, A, B, C and D. Now, since it is diagonal inclination problem, draw diagonal. So, this is the true length of diagonal. Next, draw upward projection to get the front view. Draw upward projection to get the front view. Now, the gap between these two lines represents the front view. So, naming A dash, B dash visible, D invisible and C. Next, to write the second position front view, I need HP inclination. So, okay, here when the square lamina the diagonal, the lamina makes an inclination 30 degree with respect to VP. Okay, here the lamina inclination, this is the lamina inclination 30 degree with respect to HP. It is visible in the front view, this lamina inclination. So, front view it is written on VP. Now, take 30 degree line. Thirty degree line with respect to HP. Thirty degree line with respect to HP. Now, measure this length. Measure this length, cut an arc. Next, measure this length from point A, cut, cut an arc. So, this is C dash, 
this is b dash and d dash and this is a dash okay here you make it dark since it is the view next draw vertical downward projections draw vertical downward projections so draw vertical downward projections so these are the vertical downward projection these are horizontal projections now do the naming horizontal projection of point a vertical projection of point a a horizontal projection of point b vertical projection of point b horizontal projection of point c vertical projection of point c horizontal projection of point d and vertical projection of point d now connect all the four corners using dark lines so the diagonal ac this is the apparent length this is the apparent length now to write the last position okay here this data is required the diagonal incline with vp is 45 degree so the diagonal the diagonal means the diagonal ac in the problem mentioned the diagonal ac appears to be inclined appears to be inclined means this is called as apparent inclination this is the apparent length when the diagonal when the square lamina parallel to hp so this is the true length of the diagonal now when the diagonal inclined 30 degree with respect to hp this is the apparent length the length of the diagonal okay here in the length of the diagonal get changed so therefore okay here the length of the diagonal changed now apparent length for apparent length okay here apparent inclination is given you no need to find out beta angle when they appears when the, so if the problem contains the word appears you no need to find out beta angle so now you draw 45 degree line draw 45 degree apparent inclination line 45 degree line with respect to VP. Now we redraw this lamina such that the diagonal AC appears to be inclined with respect to VP. You fix the diagonal AC. Okay, here you fix the diagonal AC apparent length. Next you redraw the remaining points. Measure this distance A to B, cut an arc and C to B, then A to D, then C to D. Measure the distance from A to D, you cut an arc and measure the distance from C to D, from C to D you cut an arc. Okay, here this is point A, B, C and D. Now join all the points. So this is the apparent length. Okay, here just I have redrawn this lamina by placing the diagonal AC on VP inclination line. Now, to get the final view, draw upward projections. Now, draw horizontal projections. Now do the naming here, vertical projection of point A, this is horizontal projection of point A, A dash, vertical projection of point B, horizontal projection of point B, B dash, vertical projection of point C, horizontal projection of point C, C dash, vertical projection of point D, horizontal projection of point D, D dash and this is A dash, connect all the points A to B. So this is point A dash. So this is the final view of the square lamina. When the lamina makes 30 degree with respect to HP and when the median appears to be inclined 45 degree with respect to VP.